Hello, my name is Robert. I'm the communications coordinator at the Sing Sing Prison Museum. Our oral history project aims to share stories of incarceration and reform, both past and present, to bring people together and work towards a more equitable society. Our latest episode of Carceral Conversations features Laurent, who was recorded in March 2020. During the episode, he talks about the significance of maintaining focus while incarcerated and developing a positive mindset for success. This is a part of our ongoing series. You know what I'm saying? That Brian, Brian Fisher wanted to give guys at his facility the opportunity at uh, a higher education. <clears throat> and so at that time, me personally, I wasn't um, forward thinking. I was still in the moment. My thoughts were in the moment. I had quite a few years ago, I wasn't I won't say not thinking about the future, but you kind of fortify your mind to block everything out except for being in the moment because it's hard, you know, having a life sentence and thinking about 10 years away, 10, 15 years away. So what happened was we I had, so everybody had to take the entry exam and I believe it was like 75 or 50, 50 guys. They said the uh, highest scoring, the 75 people with the highest score would be able to get into uh, to the college program. I scored one of the highest scores. I was accepted in, into the, uh, the pre-college program. So it was college readiness. It wasn't pre-college. Then. That's what it was called, college readiness. And um, it was five nights a week. I went did all for, the whole, for a whole year, did the whole thing. Um, my the last exam was an old presentation I had Professor Witty, <laughs> and I I, I I reminded him about this. So that that for, so for two weeks leading up to the last class and um, me doing my old presentation, I had practiced my my my, uh, my presentation in the mirror. I had it down back. For some reason, they I was on H Gallery. There. They called H Gallery first. I was the first person on the line. And um, when you come down to the school building, there's a booth. You got two doors. To the left is the school building, and straight ahead is to the yard. Both doors are open, but the officer stopped us because I, I don't know if the, um, they wasn't ready for us to go into the school building. I had my books. I had my book, my, um, my books in the bag, my net bag. I look at the, I look at the gate. I look at both gates. So I was like, I done did all this work. I ain't going. I ain't going tonight. I went to the yard. Professor Witty failed me for the whole the whole thing. He gave me an F. That's still on my on my on my transcripts right now. And so years later, it took me seven years to get back into school. Right? It's a, it was a whole process, but um, like I said, I wasn't really focused on um, education. I was I was just focused on getting through the day. Um, it took me a while to realize. How much of a mistake that was, like not going and doing that whole presentation as much as I like to talk, you know, and debate, dialogue, discussion, whatever the case may be. And I don't even think it wasn't any fear, whatever. It was just like I just went to do nothing. I don't smoke weed. I'm not in the gang. I wasn't going out there to play cards. I wasn't going out there to do anything. I literally went outside that night and sat on the bench and watched TV while everybody else went in, they did their presentation, they passed, all of them went to, went to uh, school, got into college, and it might have been, what, 2004? No, I'm bugging. 2014. I go to the yard this night. It was in June. Nobody was in the yard that, I, that I'm always with. I'm like, where anybody at? So he was like, yo, they had the graduation. And it was like that everything in Russia hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, wow. All these guys that were graduating that night had started school with me. Like, we all we went through that college readiness. And here I was, standing up in the yard again, doing nothing. These guys were with their families getting awarded their college degrees and, and you know, meeting these, all these celebrities and all that. And so 